Hello and welcome to the Crafty Beggar's Kitchen. I'm Julie Peascott. And I'm Wendy Turner-Webster. And what are we crafting today, Wend? Well, it's Halloween, approaching fast, and how about we make this? It is a rather beautiful um, pumpkin book sculpture. Book sculptures are actually very popular at the moment, aren't they? They really are, and there are a lot of very beautiful, complicated ones but this one, I can guarantee you, is extremely simple. Well, looking at the table, you've got very few um, implements to make it with, so it is obviously simple. It really is. I mean, just look what we've got here. We've got a little bit of orange watered-down paint over here. This is the, the, the vital component, Jules, an old book you don't want, your trusty scissors, and this. Wow, that looks like it's all singing, all dancing. This is the key tool to this whole make. Here it is, in its wrapping, in its packet. So I'm going to read you uh, what it is. It's the Fiskars, or Fiskars, as they say it on the continent. Um, the Auto Reload Heavy Duty Professional Cutter 18 millimeters. Uh, now it's great for cutting paper, thin cardboard, film, leather, loads of, uh, of materials um, and it's, uh, it's got rubber grips, ergonomic um, design, ergonomic shape, safety lock and five blades are included. This looks like it would cut through practically anything. Jules, it would even cut through your carrot cake. <gasps> Wounded. Well, it is solid. <laughs> Let's get on with the show. Okay. <laughs> Right, so you've got your book that you no longer want. You've yeah. read it or it's going for pulp or something. So you, does, you it be, does it have to be a paperback or can it be a paperback or a hardback? It doesn't actually matter because you take off the whole cover and you just get left with the sort of glued spine. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So you've taken off the cover and from the cover you cut out a template and it's rather like the shape of an ear. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, I like that. Not my ears. Okay, not yours. No, so you're rude. you're not big ears. So rude. Right. <laughs> Put it on top. I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then get your trusty your Fiskars cutting tool. Fantastic. Okay. And you go like this. So here we go. Put a little bit of welly into it. You don't actually have to cut through many pages at once so don't try and goodness me do the whole thing at once you're literally doing a few pages at a time bringing it right round like that watch your fingers obviously it goes without saying so you're going to have a few pages then to take off at the end have you got the principle yes and then you just repeat it going round like that repeat 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 until you get right down to your table. Talking of which, I like this table and I like this cloth. You, you don't want me to cut into it then? <laughs> look, 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 look. You'll be glad I brought this. Yes. Yes. Because when you, when you get right. right down, right down to the last few pages, you need a proper cutting board. If you value your table as I do. Yes. <laughs> Right, so you've gone all the way down to the bottom of the book and you will end up with something that looks like this. Ta-da! Now I'm going to neaten this off because it's obviously a little bit raggedy with the trusty scissors. And I think it's worth saying um, that I could have probably done the whole thing with scissors if I felt more comfortable with those. I guess you could have actually, yes, you could have um, taken a few pages at a time, probably drawn around your template yeah. ear shape, and then yes, just take a few at a time yeah. and do it with scissors. Probably yes. a bit longer process, but one that's certainly safer for children. They can use uh, safety scissors. Whatever. Absolutely, yes. It is worth saying as well how ugly this make looks at this stage, and it always goes to show, doesn't it? Carry on, carry on making things because, you know, see it through to the end because if you took that as a sort of, oh my goodness, what is this going to turn out like? It looks awful and yet it really does turn into this. Well, it doesn't look awful, but it doesn't <laughs> look its best. Okay. So let's make it look its best. Snip, snip. Progress. But that's shaping up nicely. Okay, Wend, I've made it look gorgeous. <laughs> what's next? Perfect, yeah, I'll tell you what's next. Um, take the thing as a whole, but take the last 
couple of pages on each side, bend them round like that and you need to glue those into place, glue it and then probably um, pinch it with a paper clip. Oh great, so while the glue dries. Yeah. And while it's drying, just sort of keep bending the spine like this. And be quite brutal with it. And I can see, look, I need to do a little bit more neatening. <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> Luckily though, I'm sure that now you get the picture, so you can see how, can't you? Yes. It will shape up into that pumpkin. Fantastic. Obviously we're not going to sit here while any glue dries, so we could sort of put that to one side. Ta -da! Um, and just really show you how we've done the orange on it. And how we did this was to actually water down uh, some orange paint. It's only ordinary poster paint. Yes. So now we will set about painting our pumpkin. Ah, 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 ah. Young lady, just stop what? there. What? There's another use for this cutting board, this lovely <laughs> Fisker's cutting board. <laughs> to Sorry. Protect. Oh, what's she like? <laughs> Sorry, protect your surfaces. Yes, you're quite right. Um, how uh, you do this, Jules, is easiest to grab a few. In fact, you grab and I'll okay. paint. Yep. Grab a few of the things like that and water down the um, paint because it's quite nice if it sort of bleeds into the paint pages, you know, that kind of watery way. Oh, okay. And, and if you left it solid, it would just be a bit thick. Yes, I think yeah. so. So just paint down like this. Great. And I suppose if you did it once and it was a bit pale, then you could add subsequent coats, which is in effect what we're doing now. Absolutely. You, you know, you, something you actually can't go that far wrong on. Yeah. Do you know, when joking apart, there are very few absolute disasters <laughs> in craft making. Because even some of my worst accidents have turned out to be, you know, happy mistakes, really. Things have, have surprised me and they're all right in the end. Oh, you know, I absolutely agree. See it through to the end. You never know. Absolutely. There you are. Here this is. Ah, just one final thing. I've been intrigued by this little sort of top which finishes it off. How did you manage to find a piece of wood that's so perfectly pointed it fits in? Well, it wasn't perfectly pointed. When I found it, I made it perfectly pointed uh -huh. with this trusty tool again. Um, shave off, you know, don't, don't um, go at it with a lot of gusto. Just shave off a little bit of time. It down. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm. You crafty beggar. Thanks, Jules. <laughs> and then when it's the right size, you pop it back in. Excellent. A perfect fit. So that's it. A Halloween pumpkin book sculpture. Fantastic. Join us next month when we'll be showcasing another Fiskars product. We'll be making a Christmas garland from old soft drinks cans. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually just one more thing to say before we go. Happy Halloween!